Welcome back to another video. This is your host, the amazing and smart LT Spirit. Well, okay, I gave myself that title. But anyway, it's true. It's factual information. So, what shall we talk about today? So, yesterday, talked about goalball and how it is arguably the best sport. Better than basketball, football, baseball even. And I love baseball. So, yeah, so that was a positive, but now I guess we should talk about a negative. And this is something that's personal, a personal negative for me when it comes to sports. So we're staying on the sports topic because I couldn't think of anything else to talk about. But we're going to be talking about swimming, okay? And why I never want to be on another freaking swim team again. Okay, so swimming is fun. I've always seen swimming as two different things. There's swimming, where you go to a barbecue, you have watermelon, and you just hang out in the pool. And then there's competition swimming, where you have to go to hours and hours of swim practice. And then you race, you get your times, and you get your awards and all that stuff. Now, the first kind of swimming is just chilling swimming. That kind of swimming is fun. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, you know, playing Marco Polo and water tag and all sorts of stuff like that. That is just fun, but they can't really call that swimming. I'm talking about the competition swimming, which I don't like at all. So, a couple reasons why I don't like it. One, practices get very pointless, okay? I am a phenomenal swimmer, and that's just not me hyping myself up or just talking. I am, I am a phenomenal swimmer, okay? I am one of the best at my school, um, with, like without a doubt. And the swim coach said that I could be something special if I really wanted to, but I don't. That's it. Practices are very unnecessary for me. Is my mom coming in here? Going to the basement. So. Okay, I can hear my mom talking, and she's going to talk straight through the video. So. Into the basement. So, back to what we're talking about. Um, practices are very unnecessary. You go to a practice every day, every other day, doing the same goddamn thing that you've been doing for the past five years. Now, I mean, I can't admit that going to ISVI and being on the swim team for two years have improved my swimming because there's some things I always for instance I would hold my breath when I swim and you're not about to hold your breath you're supposed to breathe I've learned how to properly breathe pretty well um I've gotten my strokes better um I've done like flips off the wall I can do that like my turns but just repetitiveness of it is so stupid you see I was arguably the best on our swim team. This past year, there was only six of us. Four of us already knew how to swim. The other two. The other two. One of them learned. The other one didn't. No, no, no. He didn't drown. But he, he, he's not good. His name Julian. He's not good. Uh, he couldn't even swim one length of our normal pool. Our, our pool is not a regulated pool. Okay, so a regulated pool is when you have a 25-meter pool. You swim that twice, that's a 50. We take three lengths to do a 50. Instead of two lengths, is only a 50. So that shows you about how short our pool was. He couldn't even swim that. I mean, I'm not making fun, I'm just saying the truth. And then this other kid, Cavante, um, he... He's good. He just splashes the water all over the place. Like he's pouring in the bathtub or something. But, well, whatever. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not saying I'm better than anyone else. But if you just look at it, I was the best swimmer. And going to all those processes was very stupid. I hated going to it. I did whatever the coaches say. But there would just be times where they're like, LT, go down to the deep end and float for a while. Or do repetitive turns over and over. Because they had nothing for me to do. It's like... LT, swim three laps. And I swim those laps, I hang out. They're like, LT, go swim another four. And I'm like, what the hell? You just told me to. You know I'm a dang good swimmer. And you're just having me swim laps just to kill time. Like, what the flip? Um, 
Yeah, that, that really annoys me, doing the live thing, how they just sort of try to find things for you to do to occupy your time so they can actually help the people they need because they don't want you just hanging out in the pool, just chilling, doing whatever, when you're already a professional and good swimmer. So that that's just the coach's trick, and I don't like that trick at all. Another thing I don't like is swimming 100 meters, okay? So... Like I said, how it takes three lengths in our pool to do a 50, so it takes six lengths or three laps in our pool, and just smaller to do a 100. I do not have that stamina to do that. The reason I don't have the stamina is because I did Special Olympic for a good three years, and all we did was 25 meters, or one time down. That's it. It, it, it basically, you start at one end, and it is a sprint down to the other end, and I've gotten first place and two second place because the kid I went against so I'm I'm four seven at this point. The kid I'm going against is like six two, okay? Like we are stroke for stroke, but just because he has a foot and a half on me in height, his arms are longer, he reaches the wall first. But I'm a better swimmer than, but and that's it that's it never that's a never rant for another day. But I am so, I don't have the stamina. I never built up the stamina. And yes, um, I can swim a 50 in the beginning. It was ugly, but now my stamina is up to a 50 without being absolutely spent. But doing 100, I get spent. It's either going to be the world's slowest 100 meters, or I'm not going to make it. I can give you two laps, but once I go for that third lap, it's like I'm screwed, okay? I felt like I was going to drown every time. They told me to do 100, and they wanted me to do 100 for our timings, and I got the car farm because apparently my feet sort of walked in the shallow end, but, like, they didn't go, like, I wasn't walking. I can't get one of my feet touched, and they said that's okay, but they said walking is not okay, so maybe they thought I walked, but I did not walk, but it would have been a bad time anyway, so better they did throw that one out, but our 20 they get second place overall, so, all right, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's, I'm just over swimming. Like, I don't want to do it. And it's completely, completely not helping me at all. I don't gain anything from it. I got a third place in my freestyle and a sixth place in my 100 meter bat stroke. I could care less about the bat stroke. I just did it because I'm like, well, I can do the bat stroke. And they're like, well, we want you to do something else. So I'll do the freaking bat stroke. And I don't have 50 bat strokes. So I just showed that I went as, not as slow as possible. I just took my time. I'm like, yeah, end of the swim season. So with my last race, I'm like, I'm just going to do these three laps, get the frick out of this pool, and never see it again. Also, when you're doing so many practices and stuff like that, you don't want to do recreation swimming. Well, I don't. And because either they're going to tell you to either do, keep practicing your strokes and stuff like that, which, no, that's why I have swim practice. But also, it's like, I just associate bad memories doing all this hard work in this pool, and now you want me to hang out in the pool? No. I even, I even had to do the pool for PE on Tuesdays. Like, every Tuesday, we're getting in the pool. So I had swim practice um, in the pool. Recreation swimming in the pool and PE class in the pool. Okay, I've seen way too much of that pool. I I don't hate I I almost said I don't hate it. I do hate it and I don't want to be in it is what I was trying to say. So uh, yeah, that stupid stupid pool can suck it. Um, I think that's about where I'm gonna call it for why I don't like swimming. I'm not joining the swim team next year. Okay, it starts in January ish. So 2023. Well, 2023, this is only 21. 2022, not doing it, okay? I am good. Uh, I don't care what the coach said, I'm not doing it. I just choose not to do it. I didn't want to do the 100, and they sort of made me. They signed me up for it, and they're like, well, you're swimming it. So I'm like, well, I'm screwed. So, but yeah, I did, this was, this was just saying why I don't like swimming. And if you are a swimmer, good for you. I'm not saying not to do swimming. If you really like that kind of stuff, it for just for me it got way too repetitive. I have nowhere to go but down. I feel like I feel like I'm at the top of my swimming capabilities. And yeah, you could say, oh, turn that third place and sixth place into two first place, but swimming very very competitive. It feels like everyone that's swimming, you're going against kids from Indiana, Iowa, Ohio, uh, Wisconsin, Missouri, like all of them. Okay. There are a lot of good swimmers out there, and I'm in that class of good swimmers, but there are people that are better than me, okay? I can, I can say that. And 
I told myself I want to first place in every single sport, but sometimes that's just unrealistic. I'm not going to put myself through another two months of practicing just to be disappointed with the end result of probably another second, third, fourth, 25th place. But um, it, it's it's just not worth it, worth it for me to put in all that work just to just to lose. But I mean, it was even not a shortened season, but it, like it was shortened. But also, my theory was how people at my school, they didn't do sports because like, we're not doing half seasons and whatever like that. And I thought maybe the same place would be all over the country where different schools weren't doing all their sports or kids wouldn't want to do the sports. But, um, no, nah, kids, they didn't they beat me. So, I'm very good with not doing swimming. And, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm probably going to talk about every sports or whatever ever YouTube idea came to my head, or search BuzzFeed and, and try to find an interesting article. Maybe that could be fun. I don't know. Okay, uh, so see you in tomorrow's video. So, from the amazing and awesome Anthony Spears, how many eggs did I just use in that sentence? I'm out. Bye.